And Mark McGowan continuing to be quite strong in his language after being tested, tested uh, in a big way over the last week or so. Well, it will be interesting to see how the PM reacts to these comments from Mark McGowan. Certainly federal sources have put to me that some of the things he is saying just cannot happen. The WA Premier suggesting that uh, immigration detainees detained on character grounds on Christmas Island can be moved out to prison this morning. It's been put to me, well, that would just be illegal, illegal under international law. Uh, you can't just put immigration detainees in prison. The suggestion being, of course, that instead of hotel quarantine system in a capital city, uh, you could have those returning on flights to that particular quarantine facility. McGowan also suggesting he can't use Rottnest Island. He spoke about using that, and I think indeed used, used that for cruise ships. Uh, he's going to war, it seems, with the federal government on this matter. This is what he said on prisoners. They've moved uh, the deportees. So the deportees are often uh, people who have a criminal record uh, or who are currently subject to um, criminal conviction. Uh, they move them to Christmas Island. They can obviously move them back to whichever prison they're in um, and they can move them into one of the uh, secure, secure facilities on the mainland if they wish. Andrew, Mark McGowan had some, uh, well, very strong language as well when it came to comments made by the Secretary of Home Affairs. I'll read those to our viewers in case they haven't caught up with them. Mike Pizzullo, in a, an email to about 8,000 staff, said, In a world of perpetual tension and dread, the drums of war beat, sometimes faintly and distantly, other times more loudly and ever closer. We must search always for the chance for peace amidst the curse of war until we are faced with the only prudent, if sorrowful, course to send off yet again our warriors to fight the nation's wars. They Quite a, a strong message there, an Anzac Day message from the Secretary of Home Affairs, Andrew. And it's well known the Secretary of Home Affairs wants to be the Secretary of Defence and follow Peter Dutton over there. I don't know if these comments have uh, harmed or helped that particular case. Maybe they might have harmed them. We'll hear from the PM on them shortly, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I mean, they were very interesting comments in an email to all Home Affairs staff. I understand vetted through the Home Affairs Minister, Karen Andrews. She was defending her secretary this morning. I just saw the secretary out here. He wasn't keen to stop and talk about it. Uh, Mark McGowan didn't have a problem talking about it a short while ago. He said, what are you doing trying to stir this up with China, their uh, big ex export market? I just urge the Commonwealth and people in this position elected and otherwise, to tone it down. Tone it down. What good does that do, saying things like that? Um, it's totally unnecessary. Uh, it gets a headline. Uh, no doubt, probably secures you some coverage around the world. Uh, and, uh, you know, there may be elements in the community who cheer, uh, but it's in no one's, no one's interests, that sort of language. Diplomacy should be conducted diplomatically. Yeah, and it is a very interesting question that you posed this afternoon, Andrew, and uh, let's elaborate on that because, it's, as you said, Mike Pizzullo wants to be Secretary of Defence and that yet these remarks um, will be criticised by many, including Mark McGowan, but will, they, will the government say, OK, we'll double down on this and he can be Secretary, we'll put the hawk, another hawk in a, a senior security role, or... If they're trying to cool things down, will this harm? Will this backfire on Secretary Pizzullo? Well, that's right. And any suggestion you might move to defence has always been tempered with it would be in six months to a year uh, with new ministers in place in both Home Affairs and Defence now. But uh, you do wonder whether the PM reflects on this remarks and thinks... Is this the right guy for the job? Essentially, do we need to be stirring things up mm. with China? We've already seen Peter Dutton, after initially with us, downplaying any conflict with China, saying he couldn't rule it out on the weekend. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where the PM's language in this press conference goes on China, Kieran. Yeah, it will be indeed. I look forward to hearing what he has to say on that.